So how did you like it, my new title sequence? I enjoyed it, um, nothing really special or anything, but I thought it had quite a nice catchy tune. And now on with today's video log. Um, I thought we'd start off with something completely different this time. I thought I'd try a book review. I've just finished reading Stephen King's and Peter Straub's uh, Black House. Um, very good book, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a typical Stephen King book, and what I mean by that is that the characters aren't cardboard cutouts, but each one is thoroughly thrashed out. Uh, we go deeper, we know each character's motives, reasons, and very often their history and how they came to be at this point in time. Uh, for example, the first four chapters of this book, Stephen King wanders slowly through the village, uh, the small town, going into the doors and houses of the local villagers. And we find out a little bit about who the villagers are, why they live there, and so forth. After about the fourth chapter, we come to meet Jack Sawyer. Now, Jack Sawyer, you remember from the previous book by these two authors, uh, The Talisman. In The Talisman, Jack Sawyer was the 12-year-old boy who had to cross over to the territory to save his mother's and the queen's life. In this book, Jack Sawyer is in his mid-thirties. He's a retired policeman um, who's moved to the small town to get away from all the crime and stuff. We find out more of his motives later on in the book. Uh, what's special about this particular town is that it's been played by a serial killer. This killer goes, kidnaps children and then kills them. We come into this book on the fourth victim. Uh, Jack Sawyer hasn't yet quite been involved in the uh, investigation but we can see that he's going to be asked soon. The story carries on from there and we learn the motives of the murderer, the policeman, Jack Sawyer, his friends and those in the village. Why they do what they do and where they do it. I love this book and I love Stephen King's writings. None of these characters are cardboard cutouts, as I said earlier, and you feel as though it's almost a real world. I highly recommend this book, however I must warn you it is very gruesome, grisly, bloody. Um, if you can take it, it is well worth the journey. I'm actually at my office at the moment, um, just sort of to give you an idea of my daily work. And here you can see the cubicle, and behind me here of course is the, well, row of desks. Um, behind me here is my desk. Nothing fancy but keeps me busy during the day. Of course what keeps me busy over the weekend is my computer games, TV series, movies and video editing. As you can see I'm in the process of moving around my little library area to make a better editing table for my videos. So until next time, ciao.